Hi, I'm Joe Walensky from Writers UA, and today I want to talk about surveys. Uh, we have just launched our 2014 Skills and Technology Survey, which we've done for many, many years. Uh, and uh, so, in keeping with that, I'm going back and looking at some of the results from the 2013 survey, which is still published. Uh, and uh, I've already uh, talked about skills and also technologies in two previous installments uh, of this uh, video blog. And today I'm going to talk about platforms. So let me switch over to that part. Uh, here you can see the uh, survey that's uh, available on our website. So we hope you uh, participate in that. It's a, a fairly short and simple survey. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about platforms. And so let me just uh, move down to the first table where we uh, first like to ask people what platforms their organization supports for their products. So uh, what, are, what are the uh, various platforms that your products run on? And uh, respondents could select more than one uh, for the entire time we've been doing this survey, Windows has been all the way up at the top. However, that has diminished uh, over the last few years. Uh, we did split up Windows into uh, two eras. And you can see here that the current era, which stretches from today's version 8 back to XP, uh, accounts for the uh, current era. and that represents 83% uh, of the respondents who have products that they support on that platform. Uh, now there are people, uh, a lot of people and products that support earlier than that in the Windows uh, environment. You can see that further down below where you have uh, 2000 NT uh, and earlier. And interestingly, the 17% sounds like a small number except when you think that you're talking about technologies that go back 15 years which is a, a lifetime in the software world uh, and that's because Windows uh, Microsoft has always been really strong about supporting uh, being backwardly compatible as opposed to uh, Apple with the Mac with, where they almost uh, force people uh, in a forward direction either through uh, relatively low price of the operating system and also uh, just actively pushing people to uh, upgrade. Uh, some of the other uh, interesting notes on here is that mobile continues to rise as a platform that many of us support. Now over a third of us us uh, have products that need to be supported uh, on um, on a mobile platform, and I'll talk more about that uh, in a minute. Uh, but that has uh, definitely uh, increased over the past few years. Just five six years ago, uh, this number was in the single digits. Uh, so it's definitely something that's here and something to uh, keep watching. Uh, the other items have been more or less the same uh, for quite a while, Linux, Unix, uh, Java, uh, with the exception of Mac OS X, and that uh, has uh, gradually increased uh, it, it to where it is right now, where one out of five of us support that, uh, and that has largely been due to the ecosystem that has arrived through the iPhone and the iPad. Now as I move a little bit farther down we have a table specifically about mobile where we break that down and you know it may be that uh, sometime soon we're going to have to start uh, adjusting our definition of what mobile is. Uh, it's not necessarily the uh, equivalent to small screen devices, although for the most part uh, that's what a lot of us think about. Uh, but here we break down that 35% uh, that was listed in the previous table of those of us that support mobile and now look at specifically what platforms are supported. Uh, iOS and Android are right up there uh, at the top. 
Uh, and that's no surprise because they're at the top uh, in terms of uh, market share in most surveys that you see about mobile. Um, interestingly, Windows Phone at 16% is a lot higher than their market share, which is hovering somewhere around 4% uh, with consumers. And that may be partly because uh, many of the respondents uh, work in enterprise situations where Windows Phone may have a little bit of a uh, larger profile. Uh, BlackBerry is uh, represented there at 13 percent but I imagine that that's going to change in the coming year given the problems that that platform has has found and and of course Symbian uh, is has been sunset and so it's really just a legacy platform at this point. Uh, Windows RT, uh, the way I defined it there, uh, uh, I, I added that in there because it doesn't really fit under Windows 8 in terms of thinking about the desktop and so uh, here it's looking specifically at that Windows Store environment, the start menu environment where it's uh, dominated by touch-enabled uh, uh, apps that have been called various things, but Windows Store now is the uh, formal term from Microsoft, but they've also been called Metro Style and Modern Apps. Uh, and we'll have to see how that changes uh, in the future. Uh, and then the final table we have is frameworks. Uh, so these aren't uh, platforms, but rather uh, environments in which you will uh, develop applications. And uh, the agile software development is right up there at the top. And What's interesting, I think, about this is that over half of the respondents who remember our user assistance professionals, so this isn't the broad IT industry, uh, use uh, Agile in their uh, in their development environments. And so I thought that was a fairly impressive figure and uh, something which I believe has uh, increased uh, quite a bit over just the past few years. Uh, Dita at 20% has been more or less at that percentage for a while, uh, and you know that's a technology which that for the most part really depends on the type of documentation that you're trying to do. It it's uh, something that isn't necessarily appealing to everybody in every kind of situation. And then the other uh, the other items that you see here have been more or less uh, the same, with uh, just a few a uh, few points uh, here and there over the past few years. So that's a little bit of thumbnail analysis about platforms, and uh, I hope you got a few nuggets of inf useful information from that. And we'll have the uh, new survey results out. Uh, by the end of 2013. Thank you very much.